Hi, I'm Helen and this is week six, I believe, of my journey to monetize this YouTube channel and another view for you this week. I'm in Alice Springs and as well as being an actual physical journey, it's quite an, an emotional one as well. I haven't, I didn't do a video last week because I was traveling around too much. So I'm just gonna catch up this week with, well, be like two weeks. Um, and it's still growing. I've hit 400 subscribers this week at the time of making this video. And I'm, I keep going and refining my content, doing some more vlogs and making those as I go. And it was just as I realized here, I left my gimbal back in my room and I think, you know, well, I'll just do it anyway. It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> Let go of the need to be perfect. And that's quite an important thing because perfectionism can really hold us back. And I've met a lot of people over the last few days on my travels and I hear people say, well, I, somebody said they were jealous. And if you go to my video about living with an addicted loved one, I talk about that. Don't be jealous of somebody else's life because if you want my life, you've got that all that comes with it as well. Um, it's far better to uh, go for what you want rather than wishing, you know, thinking that the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. Now don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't like my life. I do, because what's the point? It's the only one I've got. So why waste money not liking it and wishing things were different and changing the things that I can? So one of those things is obviously doing this, um, this YouTube channel because I want to inspire other women who have had difficult lives like me. And, you know, even last year, if you just said to me, oh, you'll be traveling around Australia for three months, I would have laughed in your face because it's not a case of waiting for the right time. It's about just going for it because the conditions are never going to be perfect. There are always going to be problems. And I've had a multitude of problems since I arrived here. I left the UK nearly a week ago and it made mostly tech problems with emails not working and various other things trying to set up a SIM card on my old phone for Australia. But anyway, that's by the by. I'm still here and making these videos and keeping a track, a record of my progress, because hopefully you'll support me. If it's your first time here, please subscribe. It does help because I need to get a thousand subscribers and also 500 hours of watch time. So you can also help by at least watching the videos to the end. Um, even if you just have them on in the background or something, that all helps. Well, I'm going to sort of head over now to the uh, to the techie bit and share the numbers. And I'm going to enjoy the rest of my walk up to um, actually what they thought was the actual spring, but it wasn't a spring, it was a water hole. So obviously finding water in the desert is very important because the bit I showed you at the beginning, that was, um, that's a river. So obviously it's the dry season at the moment. I don't know when it rains here because it's the winter here and it's lovely. It's about 20 odd degrees, like summer back home. <laughs> so I'm not complaining at all. And um, yeah, so I'm going to, let me just check what it's called. The guy in the tourist office recommended it. It's called, it's where they used to send messages to London from, oh, Alice Springs Telegraph Station where they used to send messages, but they had to send it to one point and then another, and at each point they had to write down the message and relay it to the next bit. So it makes you wonder, what was the message that finally got there? <laughs> and how it changed along the way, like Chinese whispers. Anyway, I will see you very soon at the computer, looking at our analytics. It's been a few weeks since I did an update because I have been traveling all over Australia. 
<laughs> the bit you just saw at the beginning of the video I recorded in Alice Springs about three weeks ago I think it was and now I'm in Sydney so I've not been as active on my channel because as well as traveling I've also been ill and I've had other work to do but that's life you know it's like you when you're um doing your bit trying to build your youtube channel it's important not to put too much pressure on yourself to be perfect okay you know i do try and be consistent and i'm as consistent as i can be but sometimes life gets in the way and obviously my health and my well-being takes priority over this but um so i'm going to share my screen now because it's all still actually going in the right direction and um so let's just get the uh look at the page up for my youtube channel and uh so the important numbers are still growing and um you can see at the top here this is from the plugin I use called vidIQ. I, I just use the free version. You can pay for it, but um, I don't pay for it. So it tells me that I've had 520 hours of views in, in the year. So that is um, the most important figure, really because I need 4,000 hours of views. Now, despite not posting as many videos in recent weeks, that figure has still gone in the right direction. I've also gained a few subscribers. Um, if I go to the um, to YouTube studio, that will tell us exactly how many um, in the last 28 days. You see, it's not increased as much as um, in June, but that's to be expected because I haven't been as active on my channel. Now, the internet is rather slow here, so I'll just stop sharing for a minute while the page loads. Oh, and there we go, there it is. Um, analytics is what I want. I'll just let that page load and then I'll start sharing again. Right, there we go. So, right, so 655 views in the last 28 days. So that's about the same as usual, which is which is good. Watch time has gone down a bit, but as I said, that's to be expected, and that's the um, the important figure is the watch time, but it's gone up overall over the last year and still got 12 new subscribers, despite um, not posting as much content. And you can see that down here where um, with, with, with uh, the last video there, whenever that, that was the end of June, I, I did post another video yesterday but that hasn't um hasn't come up on the stats yet so it's not completely up to date and these are the figure as of yesterday but it is still going in the right direction and um so i'll stop sharing now um so uh yeah as i say it's going in the right direction the all the numbers are going up and I know that I, I've got some more um, vlogs to post about my travels as well, which will be up and coming in the next few weeks as I edit them. And um, because I have been doing other work, I mark exams, GCSEs, which are like, if you're not in the UK, they are school leaving exams. That's just a hangover from my teaching career and it just enables me to earn some extra money. Um, well, I say in the summer because it's the it's the winter here, but in the UK over the summer holidays when I was teaching. So, um, but that's just about finished now. So I'll have more time to focus or to come back on my channel. And obviously, being ill didn't help because I got behind with that, and then I had to catch up. So 
like I said, it's it's life gets in the way, but the important thing is is to keep going and not and because sometimes I was feeling you know quite low about it. I think you know just keep going, take the next step, take the next step. It's not a race. You know, don't compare yourself to other people. I think I said that on a previous video. And <clears throat> you just have faith that the people that are coming into your channel are the right people. Because I'm also getting more comments on my videos, which, you know, I didn't get that many before. So that's a good sign as well. Because if people are commenting, that means that the um, the content is relevant to them. So thanks for um, for watching and I will do now I will be more consistent with my updates about my channel all being well there are no guarantees in life ever and that's the important thing to remember that is that it is is like it helps you to come back into the present and traveling has really done that so just remember it's not a race go at your own pace and if you do need to take a break that's absolutely fine too. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so to help my subscriber count and my watch hours. And I will see you in the next video. So in the meantime, take care, go well, and lots of love. Mm -hmm.